I thought you needed help with the store. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Marianne. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Mary Ann? I don't know. I saw it in Mary Ann's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like, maybe conversion therapy bad. I'm sorry. Whoa. Uh, Tessa? Is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Virtue Seeker Boot Camp. Wait. Here's a newsletter from the Alliance for Traditional Families. Wow. Yikes. Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Ah, 2004. Anything interesting? show. It looks like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October 2004. Five months before that night. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Let's talk to Tessa. Is there something I can do for you? We're back, with details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. Marianne was having one of her days. You were trying to talk, but she wasn't cooperating. The two of you started arguing, and you went in the office and cranked up that song you both loved. Hmm, and when was that? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. October 2004. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts, right? Yes. I don't know why. She always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. I, I was frustrated, but you can't squeeze blood from a stone. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. We know you support the Alliance for Traditional Families, and that you gave her the pamphlet about their camp. What camp? The Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. It was conversion therapy. You told her that Tyler should go there. I... Uh, um... I... T Look, your mother was in a bad place. It was clear she was... coming apart at the seams. She told me she'd been struggling with you, and I'd heard such good things about that camp. Your answer to my mother's bad moods was to send me to conversion therapy? It's what I thought would help both of you at the time. Tyler, it was worse than bad moods. She was not well. Not well at all. Do you know what they do to kids in those places? I do. No. And how did Marianne take your helpful suggestion? Badly. She wanted to let you be whatever perfect little butterfly was in that cocoon. And yes, we argued about it. So she was cool with who I was? She was more than that. She loved you. Listen, I don't mean to be rude, but I really do have a lot on my plate today. Okay. We'll get out of your way then. Thanks, Tessa.
Can we grab our groceries? Uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. See you later. What are you thinking? Just uh, trying to wrap my brain around all that. I can't believe you got Tessa Vecchi to talk about the past. Bravo. Yeah. Marianne, she had my back. It, it really doesn't change much, right? She was still fucking crazy. She still tried to kill me. But knowing she was trying to protect me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge, it, it feels good, Allison. Hey, look at me. You are allowed to feel however you are feeling about this. God, I could use a smoke. <sighs> You're speaking my language. What? Sorry, I'm just thinking about what this means. Yeah, me too. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. I guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Let's go. This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. But what about drunk bears? <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office, upstairs. Still got this creepy mascot, huh? What? Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. He's Delos Crossing's longest serving officer. Hold on. I want to catch up on all the Delos Crossing gossip. Have fun. Meet me in the open space when you're done. Home sweet home. <laughs> you spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. What are you doing here? Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? We'll be here in a few hours, and this is the ultimate. Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well... <sighs> Something's in the way. Tyler, you coming? Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? 
Coffee sound good? Machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh huh. Rose never lets me back here. Huh. Rose left the computer on. Bingo. I'm just gonna sit down in here, and I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. Hey, that coffee is sounding real good. Where's the break room? Go in. Yep, it's locked. Officer Vincenzi? Officer Wilson. Ugh, we've let this place get gross. What's on your mind? I was thinking about how we slept in that corner over there. Yeah, on that paper-thin mattress from the cell. It could have been a pillow top and I wouldn't have slept a wink. I don't know how you come here every week. I've been here 10 minutes and it's already fucking me up. I got used to it. Dug a pit and stuffed all those memories deep inside. Couldn't have survived Della's Crossing if I hadn't. I should probably tell you that repression's the worst coping strategy, but you do what you have to. Hey, do you have any reoccurring nightmares about that night? Yeah, why? Well, remember that nice lady from social services who picked us up? Oh, what was her name? Uh, Sandy, I think? Yeah, I used to dream about her a lot. Um. Sorry, what? Yeah. It would always start out pretty normal, like 
Maybe sitting in the living room with Marianne doing a sewing lesson, and then suddenly she would turn into Sandy, and she would hold us in her arms, pulling us in tighter and tighter until I would wake up practically choking. Jesus. So, are things gonna be weird at all between you and Eddie? I took the gift, Allison. I'm trying to make an effort. Thank you. I know. I just want everything to be cool. It will be. Hey, do you have any reoccurring nightmares about that night? Yeah. Why? Well, remember that nice lady from social services who picked us up? Oh, what was her name? Uh, Sandy, I think? Yeah. I used to dream about her a lot. Um, sorry, what? Yeah. It would always start out pretty normal, like maybe sitting in the living room with Marianne doing a sewing lesson, and then suddenly she would turn into Sandy, and she would hold us in her arms, pulling us in tighter and tighter until I would wake up practically choking. Jesus. Let's go? Yep. I'm not going in. This is heavier than I expected. I'm not that hungry. Allison, how about that coffee we were talking about? Check out this masterpiece. <laughs> you made it? Uh-huh. I glued it to the pot one day when I was bored, and nobody has bothered to peel it off. I'm not going in. I'm not that hungry. How is it still warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't, please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? You okay? Honestly, no. Do you ever regret? No, no way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? It's the 
first time I've been wow. in here since that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vase. Huh. What's that back there? No way. Have you been hiding back here all this time? that vase. They glued it back together. So, isn't Brown waiting for us? We should head back to his office. you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I would too. Hey, sorry that took so long. But sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, do you remember this guy? Yeah, of course. How can I forget? Tyler Ronan, back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> It's uh, good to be back. And just look at you, a man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed. I always say children are the future. <laughs> I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? Yeah, not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh, yeah? Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for... weeks. Maybe a month before. Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No, she dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually, it's the other way around. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. <laughs> Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. 
Her file? Her case file, or police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. <laughs> but you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you gonna help us? Or are you gonna be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be <laughs> sure. I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal, and you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please, let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her, but it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that, and three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? Eddie was just doing his best to protect me. To protect his family. I thought I was your family. You are. Seven years apart didn't change that. Ten years apart didn't either. But Eddie's family too. Look, we've all fucked up. We've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. Sounds like this. I, I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go. Please, Mom. I'm sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you! Older. Allison, we need to call for help. I killed her. No, you didn't. I killed her. And when they come, that's what we're going to tell them. No, no. Yes, we look out for each other. That's what goblins do. And brothers and sisters, it's going to be okay. 
okay. <laughs> So what now? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. 